Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's the day that we're gonna find out if this uh, uh, 20 MOA Arkin sculpt mount is in fact a 20 MOA. Okay, so you see, look over here, it tells you right there, 20 MOA. Uh, I did a, a prior review on this, it's a pretty heavy sculpt mount. Um, the issue that, I'm, that I've had with this, okay, is before this, I was using a UTG one, which I think is supposed to be a zero MOA. So when I when I mounted this onto the scope, shot it, the increase that I saw, the rise rather in the bullet that I saw was only four mils, right? Which basically translate into 15 MOA. So the unknown here, okay, is if perhaps the, the UTG one that I was using was not in fact a zero MOA, but was in fact maybe a five MOA, uh, in which case this one can be a 20 and then the difference that i'm seeing is a 15. so today we're going to find out find that out for sure okay because i have here a different 20 moa mount this one's from discovery op okay I, I haven't adjusted the scope all i did was basically drop it in level it and we're going to shoot this now at the same 50 yards that i was shooting it the other day with the arkin one and uh if, if if these are both in fact 20 moa the elevation should be about the same okay um uh, if it's in fact a if this is in fact a 15 and the other one's a 20 uh, right uh then i'm going to be two mils high okay so that's what we're going to test out now we're going to put a couple of shots at the target at 50 yards and i can actually measure the bullet impacts in the scope with the reticle so i'm going to see if they're impacting at about four mils high or at six mils high. Okay, um, so I can tell you guys, this is a 20 MOA mount, okay, because the Arkin's a 20 MOA mount because this, this uh, is impacting at the same place, 4 mils high, which means that the UTG one has to have been a, a, a 5 MOA uh, mount, even though they don't say it, I mean, that's what it is. Okay, let me go, get, go down and get the plug. So there we had it. Uh, we got three bullets there, about a half inch at 50 yards. That's with the uh, Wolf M1 
193. Um, so yeah, but I can, I mean, I can't show it to you here, but when I'm looking through the scope, I've got mill lines. So the difference between here and here is four mils with the Discovery Op, which is exactly what I had uh, with the Arkin. So I'm, I can, I'm not gonna believe that both of these guys screwed up, okay? Uh, the likely answer is that uh, um, that the UTG one that I have that doesn't say that it's a zero MOA. It doesn't say anything. It just says that it's high. So it says on it high. So that is in fact a five MOA. Uh, so now between these two, between the the Arkin uh, and the and the Discovery app. I'm gonna stay with the Discovery Op. Uh, main reason is two reasons. Number one, thirty-six dollars versus, I think more. I think it was like seventy dollars or something like that. So this is half the price, um, and it's also lighter. Okay, this was five five point six ounces. This was like seven plus ounces. So I'm gonna stay with the Discovery Op, and this one's gonna go back. Um, and the, the main thing that bugs me that it's just it's just so heavy it didn't need to be so heavy they could have found out they could have found ways to minimize the weight on it but we cannot call them liars okay um because uh, because like i said i was in a prior video i was questioning if this was in fact a 20 moa uh and now since that one's impacting at the same elevation the, the, yeah i mean i doubt they're both lying so the arkans are 20 moa that was a 20 MOA. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you all soon.